everyone and welcome to my channel. I have just filmed a couple of tutorials of my everyday makeup look um, tutorial that I'm uploading for you guys. Um, so that is why my hair is now all looking nice and my makeup's done. Whereas in a couple of seconds you're going to see my face completely naked. Be prepared. And off we go. Back to this morning. Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. So the first thing I do before I put anything on my face is I used to like to use a moisturiser and wash my face in the mornings, which I've already done and I've already applied my moisturiser and let that sit for a couple of minutes. So the next thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to take my NARS Sheer Glow Stick. I just give this a good shake because it does say to shake well on the back. I just like to pour it onto the back of my hand, like so. And then the best way I find to apply this foundation is actually with my beauty blender. This is all so I've got it on the back of my hand. All I'm going to do is I'm going to take a finger to disperse the foundation over my face. I don't tend to put a lot on my forehead because I don't find I need that much coverage there. So all I'm doing is I'm patting the foundation into my skin quite soft little motions just keep dabbing it like so Just got a tiny amount left on the back of my hand, which I'm just going to rub, dab into my under eye area just to give a bit more coverage. So now that I've done my foundation, I'm now going to go in with my concealer and I'm just going to conceal under my eyes. I have a little scar here and I did have a few blemishes here, which I think you can see slightly. I just so cover first up. of all, I'm going to take the collection. Yeah, it's just collection, it's not collection 2000, it hasn't been for a very long time now. And I'm just going to use this on the scar on my upper lip. And also just on my chin, on these troublesome little blemishes I've had to pop up. And taking the beauty blender, I'm just going to blend those out. Like so. Now. And then I'm also going to take the Rimmel Match Perfection um, Two in One Concealer and Highlighter, and this is in the shade Zero Ivory. And the other one, I should probably mention the collection I get in Fair, and that's number one. And then my NARS Sheer Glow Foundation is in Light 3 Gobi. So just taking this and just squeezing it a little bit to get the um, foundation, the concealer into the brush at the top. I'm just going to put a small amount of this under my eyes. In like a little triangle type shape. Again, beauty blender, and I'm just going to blend that out really, really lightly. Now I'm going to move on to my bronzer, and I've been using two bronzers at the moment. I've been using my Chanel Bronze Universal and my Honey Bronze um, bronzer from the Body Shop. So I'm going to start with this one first. And I'm actually going to use this with my Bobbi Brown brush, and this is a bronzing brush. This is quite a big top. And I'm just going to swirl this into the product, pat off any excess so I don't want too much. And then I'm just going to suck in the hollows of my cheeks just to find my cheekbones. And I'm just going to start buffing this in. take this up slightly onto my cheekbone because I'm not going for a really harsh contoured look. 
I just want to add a bit of glow and colour back to my skin and I just take it around and up to the forehead with whatever's left on the brush. Now I've used my Chanel Bronze Universal, I'm now just going to take the Body Shop Honey Bronze, I think this is the Honey Bronze, it's just their bronzing powder in light matte and I'm just going to use another Bobbi Brown brush, this is a blusher brush and I'm just going to take this, swirl my brush into it, pat off any excess and just again, just to add a nice glow because I just love these two combined just apply it to the cheeks again I'm not really concentrating on the, the hollows of my cheeks I am taking it slightly above onto the cheekbone just because I'm not really looking for a sculpted Next thing look. I'm going to take is my MUA The Makeup Academy blusher and this is in Cupcake and this is a gorgeous just really nice slightly shimmery but it's kind of like a peachy nice neutral peachy shade um so perfect for sort of an everyday go with anything kind and of I'm just going to take a Royal Lang Little Silk Pro blush brush in C110 to apply this just rubbing some in the product patting off any excess smiling a little bit and applying it to the apples of my cheeks and it just adds a really nice flushed, natural kind of flush to the cheeks. And these are really, really pigmented as well, so you don't need a lot at all. Now moving back up my face, because I just like to do my cheeks first, I don't know why. I'm now going to take the Urban Decay Primer Potion in Original, and I'm going to apply this onto my eyelids. And I just like the fact that this primer this primer does add a slight bit of coverage and it kind of conceals any veins or purple, bluish kind of discoloration that you might have, like I do. So once that's all blended in, I'm just going to leave that for a couple of minutes and while I wait I'm just going to take my Gimme Brow, which I've just done a tutorial on how I do my eyebrows stroke, a demo on how to use this product which I will link down below for you guys. And I'm just going to fill in my brows with this. Now that our um, primer's had a couple of minutes to sit, I'm now going to take the Rimmel Scandalize Eye Crayon, Eyeshadow Stick Crayon they call them and this is in the shade 002 bulletproof beige and I'm just going to colour in my eyelid basically really really rough not taking too much care at all in doing this and then I'm just going to rub that in with my like fingers so. and then once that's all blended in I'm now going to take my MAC palette which I've also done a video on, which you can find on my channel, um, of what's actually in here. And I'm just going to take the colour Patina, which is this nice taupey brown type colour here. I'm going to take my MAC 239 brush, it's just a flat brush, and I'm just going to take Patina and put it on the outer corner of my eye, bringing it into the middle slightly. Again, I'm going to blend this out afterwards as well. I'm doing that on both sides and then we'll just give it a good old blend. Sigma E35 brush which is a big fluffy brush I'm just going to blend that out. Please ignore the state of my brushes they all need cleaning I was supposed to do it this weekend however with moving it's been a little bit too chaotic. Now just to add a little bit more depth to that we're also going to take mulch out this palette which is the nice coppery brown colour here I almost feel like I'm already to wear my autumn colours and I'm just going to take this very lightly into the outer corner, the very outer corner and through the crease a little bit just to add a bit of depth and we're just going to blend that out really really well. I 
we do not want a lot of this at all and the key with any eye look is to just keep blending and taking back that 239 brush I'm just going to take a bit of mulch on the very very tip and just run that under my eye slightly So just going to take now my MAC eyeshadow pencil in Teddy, this is an eye coal pencil, I'm just going to smudge that onto the lower lash line. Now that we have done our eyes, I'm now going to put on a mascara and I have been loving again the Revlon Lash Potion. Um, I don't know why I've just been fell back in love with this and this is in the black brown shade I think. Black and brown. But I just seem to have fallen back in love with this recently. So I'm just going to apply some of this. I've been using actually two art, um, mascaras at the moment and I've also been using the Great Lash Blackest Black Mascara and I've just been using this on my lower lashes. Um, I just really really like this for my bottom lashes. It doesn't make them look really thick. It doesn't make them look like spider legs on my eyes. It just gives them that little bit more so colour. we've done that, the last thing to do is I'm actually going to put a little bit of powder on, not a massive amount, and I'm just going to take a really big fluffy brush, and this is a Raw Lang Nickel Silk Pro, and this is a powder C100 brush, and just taking my Stay Matte by Rimmel powder, and I'm just going to put a little bit of that under my eye, eyes a little bit on my chin where I conceal those few little blemishes and just a little bit in my forehead on my forehead just the look I'm actually just going to take a Burt's Bees lip balm and this is in the shade pink blossom and it's just a really nice little pinky ready type color and they're just really hydrating I actually found this again when I was packing up most of my makeup and um, in fact no I think I found it at the start of the month in my handbag or it had got lost somewhere and I'd just forgotten how moisturising and really just nice and soft these leave your lips and the colour of this one is just really really nice. This is my finished look. Um, I hope you liked it. I'm going to end up doing another tutorial now to show you how I do a sock bun um, because I've been meaning to film one forever. Um, so I'm going to do that um, for you. But yeah, I hope you like this video, guys. I will link all my other information down below, like my Twitter, Instagram, um, blogs, all that kind of stuff, and any reviews I've done recently for these products. I will also so link down below. I'm going to go now, and I will see you all again in my next video. Bye, guys.